Hello. In this article, we will show how office managers or departmental admins could use shifts for space management. As we are showcasing the functionality, when we use the word shifts, kindly think of open sanitized spaces or seats that are opened by facilities on daily basis. Shifts in Microsoft Teams is a schedule management tool that helps you create, update, and manage schedules for your team. The same platform could help facilities and office managers to publish the open sanitized spaces to employees. If you have a team that is representing a physical location, please go ahead and use that team. Alternatively, you could create a new team. Let's go ahead and build a team from scratch. In this case, we will create a public group. Alternatively, you could you also click on private in case you have some security requirements. Give a name to the team. You have the option to import the member list from a distribution list or a mail enabled security group. Most office managers have a distribution list with employees reporting to a certain location. Make sure your team is created. Now go ahead and click on shifts. Do note, only owners of the team have the ability to create a shift inside the team, whereas the members could request slots which have been published. Confirm your time zone. Please provide a group name. This could be a building name or a combination of building name and a floor and floor number. You have the option to create multiple groups as required. Typically, this would be managed by facilities manager, office manager, or departmental ad admins who may be publishing the schedule for open slots or sanitized spaces. In this example, we'll showcase how to publish a shift per building. We will let employees reserve the slots or open spaces on first come, first serve basis. Select the area and click on add open shift. Go ahead and fill up the fields. Make sure to create this as open shift in your office, which typically may have a seating capacity of let's say 300 employees. Due to social distancing rules, it may be reduced. For example, let's say it got reduced to 30 seats. Then go ahead and select on 30 seats or slots. Select add activity to include notes that you want your employees to review. To make it simple, you have the option to select a theme color. When you are done updating the shift, select save. You have the option to copy a shift or create additional shifts with different settings and labels. In this case, we created two separate shifts with different settings. Go ahead and add members to whom you want to provide access to the schedule. The best way is to use import schedule option to import members list in bulk. Verify that employees were imported properly. You have the option to copy the schedule by day or range. Or you cop could copy to a range. Do not forget to share the schedule with the team. Select Share with Team. Here is other view of how shifts could be configured with open spaces grouped by section or and floor. In some offices, sections may also be represented as wings, spaces, Here is another view of how shifts could be displayed when an employee requests a shift, the owners, in this case facility managers or departmental admins, will get a request to approve the shift request submitted by an employee. This process could be automated by using a Power Automate workflow. Facilities managers do have the option to configure few additional 
settings. Details of these advanced settings are mentioned in the links below. Thank you for watching this video and do not forget to review related articles in this post.